All right, today we're gonna be installing this uh, Ford Raptor light style kit. And uh, it's gonna go behind the, the front grill of my Ranger here. Um, it has four amber LEDs on it. Um, and then it's got a wiring harness. This should just clip right into the factory wiring. So I shouldn't have to do, be doing any kind of splicing or anything. That'll be great. And I believe it's supposed to come on with my fog lights. Pretty neat little kit. Um, I gotta check again, but I think I only paid 40 bucks for it. I'll, I'll provide the link uh, to where I bought it. But look, it even comes with a little star bit that I need uh, in the package. So pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's pop this hood. All right, the first thing you're gonna need to do is pop out these little um, snap-in style connectors. There's five of them that go across here. Um, you can use a screwdriver and gonna get under there, but I've got this cool little tool that I got on Amazon and I like how it just gets under the edge. Now it's gonna, okay, yeah, it just gets under the edge and pulls out like that. Um, so cool little tool. Um, and if I can find the link to it, I'll, I'll list that in the video description too. But go across and get all five of those. All right, the next thing you'll do is you'll remove the two screws for your snorkel, for your uh, air intake. Um, this is an aftermarket one. You can see the uh, the video for it on my Ford Ranger playlist on my channel. Um, so yours may be, look a little bit different than that. I believe that's what that star uh, hex bit that comes with it uh, is for. Is because I believe the two factory ones should be like around here and here. Um, and they should be that torque style head, which is why the kit gave you that little head But I can just use a straight screwdriver on this and I'm gonna take these two screws out and get that out of the way All right now I can just lift this whole thing up and out of the way Okay, I lied the torx bit is actually for these screws in behind the grill. You can see one right there And then there's one down on the other side those two are gonna hold our light bar in place the instructions don't say to remove the grill but I think I'm gonna try to make it easier because that looks like a tight fit in there. Um, I might remove this bolt and that bolt and see if I can move the grill out a little bit to get easier access. All right, I did remove those two bolts um, and it gives me a little bit more room to get in there. Um, I'm not gonna pull too hard because it's still connected underneath to the bumper and I don't wanna crack anything, but it does give me a little bit more room to get in there. So we'll go with that. Okay, I removed those two screws. I'm glad I did um, get a little wiggle room in here with this because uh, I had a hard time fit my screwdriver in there all the way without the extra wiggle room so uh oh almost dropped that down in there anyway uh now i'm gonna mount the new light bar kit in there all right i've got the light bar mounted in there now um the wiring harness is coming out the driver's side uh there is some adjustability when you put those when you put those screws in where is it there it is when you put those screws in see there's a, uh, a adjustability on the vertical so you can adjust it up and down to where you can see the LEDs just behind the grill. Mine is about halfway. Just adjust yours to where you can see the LEDs through the grill. They're not sitting too low or too high. Uh, now we'll wire this thing up. All right, so for routing the wire, I took it through here. There's a little gap here um, that there's already some other vacuum line or something coming through. I put it right through that little tab and then I put it down behind. You can uh, see if you put your hand down under here, you can stick your hand through right there and grab it and mount it, uh, bring it underneath this arm. And then you're gonna bring it over to this corner and we're gonna drop it down inside the fender right through that opening right there. And then we're gonna be able to come over here cause it's ultimately gonna plug into our side marker light. Um, and we're gonna turn our tire so we can have better access and we're gonna pull out this um, fender, fl uh, fender guard, whatever you wanna call it, this cover. Uh, we're gonna pull that off and then we should be able to access the wiring behind this side marker. All right, so these are these uh, little pain in the butt um, fasteners. Uh, so there's three that go around the, this uh, fender flare right here. And then there was one there, one there. And I got those out and I was able to pull this out enough to where I can access the wiring, which is right there. So we should be able to get in there without pulling this whole thing out. All right, this is great. So I actually turned the wheel all the way towards the passenger side. Um, and I was able to kind of tuck this flap up in here. Hopefully it doesn't bend it too much. I uh, should be able to get back in place. But I've got uh, a couple things happening here. This is the new wire coming down from our new light bar. This is the side marker light that I just connected, just connected just from here with my side marker. Now I'm gonna be installing this um, adapter. So this is gonna go back on the side uh, marker. That's gonna have the factory plug back into it. And that's gonna be the power for the new grill light bar. 
All right, that was easy. Um, everything's connected. I'm about to test it. Once I test it and it works, I'm gonna be able to tuck those wires up in there. I'll probably zip tie them and then put everything back together. All right, that was easy. Um, everything's connected. I'm about to test it. Once I test it and it works, I'm gonna be able to tuck those wires up in there. I'll probably zip tie them and then put everything back together. All right, they're working. Really cool. I, I can't wait to see what they look like at night, but that's what they look like in, during the day. They're still really bright even during the day. And it's, it's a very bright day out here. So I like how it adds additional visibility. Looks really cool. I'm um, curious to see it with the hood closed and everything and definitely at night. But I just have my parking lights on to test it and uh, everything looks good. So I'm gonna button everything back up and the next video I show you will probably be this, uh, what it looks like at night. All right, here she is at night. Looks pretty cool. I like it. It's uh, it's brighter than it shows on camera. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot from further away. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, the, the camera doesn't really do it justice. It kind of fades it out, but those lights are pretty bright and they're a lot more um, like orange looking than, uh, than they show up on camera. Um, if you see the side marker there, they're exactly the same color. I'm not sure why they're not showing up that way on camera but uh, they're exactly the same color match and it looks really good. I wish you guys could, could see it in person, but uh, yeah, highly recommend this upgrade. Check it out, do it for yourself. See you guys next time.